Jitendra Singh Dahiya. I welcome you to read my story where I interview authors, speakers, coaches, celebrities, entrepreneurs and more. Today I have with me Ms. Pooja Bhatia. She is the founder of Insta Krista, a clothing brand which has uh, which she has started recently. She has been qualified teacher who tried pursuing her career as a teacher, but due to her severe vision condition, she has to leave her dreams and restrict herself to uh, towards like teaching her daughter uh, and accepted uh, her career and ambition to be a homemaker. However, her husband being a professional business person in his clothing industry for more than uh, 21 years has a great experience and exposure. He supported and pushed her always for uh, like uh, do something in her life to achieve her goals and uh, achieve her skills made her uh, like uh, helped her to start her uh, new venture Insta Krista. She started this as a joint venture where she uh, she wished to bring revolution in day-to-day -day clothing, normal clothes by adding crystal, uh, which is also known as uh, rhinestone or Swarovski and turning them into classical pieces. Today, she will be discussing with us about her life journey. So let us hear from her. Welcome, Pooja Ji. The platform is open and now over to you. Thank you so much. It's a wonderful opportunity that you're giving me here. Um, I think I should start by telling something about myself. Yeah, sure. You uh, can. Uh... Thank you. You have already said a lot about me. And uh, to cut it short, I'll just say that uh, uh, I I have I am an entrepreneur now, and I was a housemaker earlier. Though housemaking is also like an entrepreneurship where right. uh, you are taking you are taking care of the house the family the husband uh, and even the other family members that are there my child yes, so yes. it's not less of an adventure anyway it's uh, you have to work hard for that too definitely and, and, uh, being a woman uh, you have to be a multitasking person for sure right. you can't just uh, stop yourself on one thing and think that yes now you are done and life 100% ensures that you keep getting these multitasks all the time. Definitely. So, uh, yeah, so this venture that we have started, uh, my husband had been pushing me into doing something. He says, he always said, you are so skillful, you have had such good education, uh, good you are teaching your uh, daughter, you are working on her, that's very nice. But along with that, you ought to do something for yourself. Right. I know it's a it's a rare, excuse me, it's a rare thing. Generally, uh, I've seen in Indian mentality normally it's more like wives want to go out and they want to work, and husbands are say look at the family first. But somehow I've been blessed uh, in my family. My everybody in my in laws is more like work for yourself, do something for yourself. Yeah. yeah. So this venture has come into being, which Wonderful. is named as Inspector. Yeah. Wonderful. If so, I talk about your past life, how it has affected you to uh, be what, uh, like, uh, how it has affected you as a person who you wanted to be and what you are? Uh, you see, in uh, I'll start from the very beginning. In school time, I was an athlete. Okay. So, so being an athlete, uh, I always had a winning streak about everything. Wonderful. Uh, along with that, we learned good sportsman spirit that in case right. you lose, do not feel bad, get up and start again. Right. I think this learning has helped me a lot in my life. Uh, there have been a number of bumps, ups and downs, but I've always learned to get up and move on. Uh, I, I started uh, in my education. I have always been a very kind of a person who wanted to learn, learn and learn. Okay. So uh, I was quite educated, education oriented. I used to study a lot and I did my masters in commerce. I did BA. Even I learned a few languages like German. Uh, and somehow the other, I, I wanted to work. 
uh, being okay this is another thing that i should say that i belong to a family where uh, my mother was working my okay. mother was also working. so seeing this that uh, in the house when you see your mother working you mm. generally have a mentality which i at least did have that i also ought to move out of the house and work and be independent right. mm-hmm. so that streak was also 100% confirmed that you have to be working and be independent financially correct so you you, so, you were, uh, since you were into sports you never thought of being a sports person <laughs> uh actually uh i did but somehow i uh, it just you know it's destiny sometimes that uh, i wanted to be with kids so it was not much about whether okay. to be into sports mm-hmm. or because i used to love along with that uh, studying also i have done lot right. of uh, mm-hmm. education so i used to i used to love books okay so contradictory things sports and books but okay. it was like <laughs> but i i like them together wonderful so and my mother was also a teacher okay some way or the other that was also an influence that uh, came into being in my life right so i started my career as a teacher mm-hmm. and uh, it was working out well then i got married and uh, with marriage came responsibilities and generally when you move away from the place we are working from mm-hmm. so you tend to look for a job opportunity nearby right and for that sometimes it takes time you know Correct. you have to first adjust yourself and then you plan okay now i should work so before i could think about working i was on family way so my daughter my daughter came into being and at that time because i have always been into the thought of working so which i said already that right. i thought that not only home uh, working at home but some way or the other financial independence has always been important to me right. and that financial independence should come from me myself right right so i started my own boutique at that time for okay. around 2 3 years i worked on to with my boutique it was running pretty well uh, but then i just said like i told you that my daughter i was blessed with my daughter mm-hmm. and so i could not pursue that Uh, okay family family became more of a priority right so i left that and then and then i uh, started as a house maker wonderful so this is how this is how it has been with many other bumps and jumps in life which we have taken together but this is the crux of it right right and uh, like uh, this is uh, kind of a thing happens to most women they they had to like uh, compromise with their career some point in time uh, some restart again soon but some uh, take a chance to stay at home and be a homemaker so if i move on to next question and ask you about uh, what are the things you are passionate about in your life okay um till now i have been very very passionate about how my daughter is growing up how she is uh, doing in her academics that right. what i've been passionate about uh in life generally i have been passionate about doing anything i was yeah. never a great uh, cook i was very uh, average about it so i developed a passion of learning okay to be a good cook i was right. i never thought myself to be a good homemaker so i thought i passionately ought to do this so i developed a passion of uh, being a good homemaker which i think i am because that is what everybody in my household is keeps telling me that you manage things very well right and now now i am passionate about the work that i'm doing uh with my husband which is this one uh this is instra krista in which we are working on the, the western apparels and mm-hmm. uh, we are uh, doing quite smart uh, rhinestone work onto it which i think uh, i'll explain detail in later so this is what i'm passionate about right now and in life in general i believe uh, that you should be passionate about whatever you are doing right and that is the motto be positive and if you think think about it do it you will achieve it right definitely that's how, that's how definitely yeah. so uh, moving back to uh, like your personal from personal to professional life uh 
you just mentioned about your business venture so i'd like to know more about your work career and business how how things like went through uh, in your life see uh, yeah. my, my husband has been uh, doing this work since last round 21 years and uh, i have been seeing this that and he was always that i want to start my own line he was the one okay. who started this that okay. i want to start my own line i want to do something about this and but he always used to feel that he didn't have that backing of somebody right. doing it for him so i think something just triggered like that that one day i was sitting and i said yeah what am i doing i am just uh, you know uh, sitting around here and looking after my daughter and i i i sometimes i think i i want to do something i told them i said okay i want to do something which is you know defining me which right. which makes me feel that yes i am something mm. i am someone so he said uh, why don't you start this it has always been my dream why don't you take it and uh, start it as your own correct and it it really it really uh, you know i felt that yes it's it would be a right choice because uh after a long uh break from your career mm-hmm. if you want to start again you need a backing at least i thought i did need a backing so Correct. the role reversed we had a role reversal and i became the person who was taking the initiative and he is my backup right and you also uh, right. like worked with the uh, a boutique in the past yeah great experience yeah so that you were yeah that has helped a lot uh, because uh, now i have for the boutique also i did a course before that i okay. did a training course for starting the boutique because i believe if you want to do something do something to the fullest okay. learn about it know about it and then do it because then only you will be confident what you know you can do only that only is what you can give it to others so something which i am i don't know i'm not confident about I don't think that I can some other the tell others about it. Correct. correct. So I did time and that boutique what certainly helped. It helped a lot. Because it still people, helped. Because people people uh, who are working with you definitely look up to your experience and expertise. Yeah, yeah they do. They certainly do because uh they because uh, a layman wouldn't know what work we are doing. Uh, any person who's maybe a customer or a client, the yeah. first inhibition they have about is uh, what is it all about? We have seen clothes, we know about uh, simple clothing, we know about shirts, but uh, what you're doing, how is it any different? Correct. Or wh- what do you know about uh, even the rhinestone work, or we call it the crystal stones, uh, is something which is you know uh, not very vast knowledge they have about it. they know very bleak things they know about it and that is also mostly rumors that they have heard here and right there. right so generally i get a question is uh, what is this uh, i will touch it it will come off now the first thing that anybody asks me this only so i said no of course not uh, then i then actually go about telling him the whole history about it that uh, how these stones are there and how they are used it's been this work has been there since some time but it is just that the knowledge about it is has been very less yeah. people just a shiny thing which is there applied on the clothes anywhere here and there but uh, it it can be very beautifully designed and that is how we are trying to make it something into a unique and different uh, concept completely a different concept people right. know about thread works uh they know about uh, some uh, kadai work but this is something which is uh, not very they are familiar with so uh, right. we thought maybe you know, this would be somewhere a thing which they can be aware about it also correct correct uh, what other things they can know that uh, how things can be designed differently right and i can uh, see the design on your shirt is really wonderful Thank you so much. That is a uh, tiger that has been made here. Yeah. Space of a tiger. Uh, so that is basically because uh, this concept also came into being because this year, as we heard, is the year of the tiger. Okay. So, so that is what also inspired us more, and it is somewhere uh, you know gives it's a strengthful personality, 
with a vulnerability when you look at it right so that is what that is what you know uh, mostly on our creations you will find lot of uh, tigers leopards panthers mm-hmm. uh, we have and that kind of work is there quite a lot wonderful and this is really uh, nice to have these kind of clothing because they are not only shiny but looks good and i'll ask about them more further uh, now i'm moving on to the next question what are the most uh, important life lessons you have learned in your life uh, could be from personal and professional life both okay um what i've learned the most in my life is that uh, you should be truthful to yourself so it sounds very philosophical when you hear it that but that is actually the truth because a uh, number of times when we are saying something we are speaking something uh, we we don't know whether we ourselves believe into it or not we right. think we do but we don't so uh, and we ought to have those kind of retrospective powers to be able to uh, you know uh, be sure that whatever you have uh, done whatever you have thought is yes. actually what you believe in yes so these two things which i believe is very which uh, i have learned i would not say very long time back but uh, around 3 uh, 4 years back i uh, started into meditations okay so uh, from there onwards i learned this thing before that i was like a cheerful bubbly carefree go girl uh, let what may come and everything goes by fine no problem so uh, i was right. more like a speaker who could speak everything about myself and uh, not a very good listener okay so with, with this uh, it brought a lot of change in my life right and uh, it brought a kind of calmness it made me think uh, so this is from where i started in uh, believing the fact that one should be truthful to oneself Definitely. that is the most important thing. and really look important. at yourself again and again to realize whether what you have uh, achieved or what you have done is mm-hmm. enough or you want more i think that is what brought about me into this business also because what i felt was what i have done is it enough or do i want to achieve more right and i felt right. that i ought to do something more about this life that i have got rather than just uh, being what i um, i was yeah this is really wonderful so if i uh, talk about your vision mission and goal in your life for next uh, maybe 5 to 10 years from now what would that be see till now my mission and goal was bringing up my baby my baby daughter and now the mission is to uh, make insta krista into a, a big vision worldwide brand and uh, hopefully make myself also into a well known personality where uh people know me through insta krista and insta krista to me so I, i i i have that kind of a vision and goal and i think i can achieve it because we are we are working out very well right yeah. right right and uh, best wishes to you uh, for both the things uh, thank now, you so much now to the uh, like most uh, important thing i'd like to ask you and which i was waiting for long what okay. exactly is rhinestone and how it is used in clothing so this is like uh, i want to understand about this kind of a thing okay uh, rhinestone is basically uh, as itself the word is saying it's a stone uh, but it has a quality of shine okay. and it comes in various categories see uh, it could be it would have a very good luster it could have like uh, have you must everybody has heard about diamonds right so how do you see about diamonds you see that uh, you base them on their cut you base them on their shine correct and uh, and you base them on uh, how how much clarity they have so the same thing goes with this stone it is just that uh, diamonds are very expensive Yes. and these are not these are uh, more on the very inexpensive side that way mm-hmm. so that is why they are applied on clothes the cut is the same the shines are same the higher the specification of the cuts better is the shine more is the clarity uh, these earlier it was basically more handwork okay. now they are 
cuts like machine cut stones so mm. when they are cut by machine naturally there is uh, more of clarity and the beauty right. is higher and right. that is the kind of stones that we use the pure machine cut work stones is what we use mm-hmm. so it is, it is and naturally then the quality is also mm-hmm. it's quite high on quality too size of this stone is uh, also very small yeah it's it's very very small uh, mm-hmm. uh, in fact i would not say very small it comes in different sizes okay from us uh, from a uh, it comes in mm's but from a small mm size point uh, some one kind uh, mm size it comes into bigger stones also okay generally uh, those who are using uh, in jewelries also it is used if you've seen um, the one that they say that fake jewelry that you have they are using okay. stones in that so number of times uh, the stones that they are using is rhinestone work okay. the rhinestone that they use okay yeah. okay so, so even in there you can see if we yeah. see the jewelry which is made up of a stones uh, like looking look like uh, of the diamond so those uh, jewelries are made up of these stones only yeah they made okay. up the stones only mm. wonderful the, it depends on how much of uh, the kind of stone that is used there okay Gen- so things uh, the stone that is used is of a smaller size as to mm-hmm. what is used in the jewelry. because uh, jewelry has a bigger size uh, stones right. that are used correct in clothes smaller that is mm-hmm. used but uh, in clothing also uh, there's a different different sizes sizes that are used here on clothing okay uh, that mm-hmm. see it's a compact thing which is that is why i was wearing it so that i can make it more clear ah. that it's a comp- thing which is has to be settled and when they are put by hand they are picked up uh, one one with a small you know there's a picker that is there the mm-hmm. small picker you put up and place it on the clothes single single uh, wise so it takes a lot of time in doing that and a lot of uh, skillful working is required right for, right uh, yeah so that takes time it takes a lot of time uh, with technology machines have come up uh, mm-hmm. but still some there which uh, because when you are start when you designing things for designing purpose you always have to uh, start with the manual thing mm-hmm. then for then you can go for machines okay. but uh, for mm-hmm. thing it is this and uh, basically uh, the the part is that it has been there but uh, people have uh, you've been using a lot of low quality stuff in okay this. Mm-hmm. so people have normally customers have this conception that it comes off because the quality of work that they have seen mm-hmm. is a uh, high quality right so uh, those if if those who have an uh, knowledge about it would know that uh, if you're using a good quality thing it will not come off it will uh, Uh, it will not even uh, pierce you anywhere and okay. uh, good designs can be made like this in good quality work on and the quality shows with the work that you're doing right 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 so nice if i talk about this further like these type of clothing made from uh, stones are they cost efficient and skin friendly also uh see uh, i'll tell you something fashion is something uh, which is uh, diverging every day people right. are uh, wanting everything new these days mm-hmm. uh, everybody basic life has become so boring that you want something new every day right uh what what everybody is even trying to those who are supplying are trying to provide people is something which is different which mm-hmm. is beautiful and cost effective right that is the demand of the market too correct so, so that way uh, these stones are uh, certainly cost effective mm-hmm. uh, they are not that expensive as uh, sometimes they are thought to be the, uh, the cluster of work that seems to be seems like as a, see the the presence the look is expensive right because it gives a beautiful uh, party look Correct. So whenever you see a work like this, which is done beautifully, so you'll mm-hmm. feel okay. This must be very expensive because the look is like that. Right. But right. Uh, cost-wise, it can be made made effective. That mm-hmm. is uh, 
what uh, manufacturing and uh, thing is all about so we try to make it most cost effective as possible ha uh, once you got into a scale that can be managed well yeah that's true that, of course mm. that is there yeah and uh, about skin friendly uh, is it that skin friendly um i'll tell you previously the stones that were coming uh they were not uh, lead free that okay. was being used mm-hmm. and maybe i don't because there must be some who must who might be using that kind of qualities because that mm-hmm. is maybe a low but if you are using a good quality stuff uh, right. then it is skin friendly it is lead free mm-hmm. and uh, the these days is of these kind of stones only okay we make sure that uh, things that we are making are skin friendly otherwise uh, mm-hmm. the stone won't touch the skin anywhere okay right right it's just that uh, when they are applied they already been applied there so mm-hmm. uh, at way because it's there's some pressing being done on mm-hmm. the only thing which is uh, somewhere a steam or a fume is there otherwise uh, what is already applied is not touching the skin but when we see clothes also see we are use we using cottons we use polyesters right. and we know cotton is skin friendly correct so that way if you see the stones that we are using are skin friendly they are lead free okay. mm-hmm. you have to maintain the quality that is on to you so we we are certainly into that yeah. wonderful this is like uh, really important the uh, product should be cost efficient and skin friendly also and definitely uh, the kind of designs you are making look really awesome that is an another level of uh, like uh, working on low quality quantity designing and the beauty lies there only thank so, you uh, <laughs> thank you so much so if i move uh, like uh, talking further about uh, you as a person are you an introvert or an extrovert person uh, in uh, your uh, personal and professional life and what are the pluses and minuses of the same um <clears throat> i would say that uh, when it comes to talking about myself i am an extrovert person i love talking about myself <laughs> but yes with life i have learned that uh, if you are an extrovert you may be mm-hmm. talking about yourself uh, but then you are not learning much right because then you're busy just list, others are busy listening to you and mostly most probably they might not even be listening to you hmm. so with life i have learned it's uh, better to be a good observer correct and as per the situation comes if it is like you want to intermingle with someone you should be an extrovert and when it is somewhere where you should be a good listener it's better right. to be an introvert and understand and learn because that is most important in life to learn and grow right wonderful you you should uh, like reverse your ro- uh, roles depending on the situation wherever you are like sometimes you should be an introvert sometimes an extrovert i believe that <laughs> wonderful if i talk about uh, like kind of support you got uh, from your family friends so who were the people supported you the most I don't know but I am a very blessed person. Throughout life I have always been uh, helped by people around me. I know God has gifted me with this something that uh, if you are in a stuck up position somebody will come up and help you. Right. It always happens like that. And uh, along with that somehow I have always been there uh, for whoever whoever those who are around me. So that is also something which is like a gift that i feel god has given me that by hook or crook i am there whenever somebody has needed me right and uh, during my uh, earlier days i would say that uh, it was my mother whom i used to take as my inspiration whom i thought mm-hmm. that okay i should be you know uh, who really inspired me a lot right and as i uh, moved on in my life uh my in-laws my husband they have helped me a lot and as you can see that since the whole business uh, program is started and based and the push that was given to me was uh, by my husband so that itself shows that how helpful he has been in my life 
there's one more person whom i would like to mention uh, he's my mentor whom mm-hmm. i call uh, chacha ji and uh, he um, he's like a god gift he's the actual god gift on earth uh, for me he's been like a father figure who's helped me throughout my life whenever i've been in any situation and uh, he's guided me always how to go about in your life right i think my success in life would be you know credit to him completely that is so wonderful so uh, like uh, if i talk about inspiration and motivation in life so how you got your inspiration and motivation or how or like who are the people uh, you get inspired from oh i think i already yeah. answered that in the last yeah, part you mentioned me. about your mom <laughs> yeah. yeah i think uh, see those those who around you are helping you are your inspirations right uh, what i believe is that um, again it might sound very you know saintly or philosophical but i believe that everything in life is teaching you something correct. and inspiring you to do something or the other correct and i, and I try to uh, you know observe those things which are trying to make me learn something right so when something is something is guiding you towards something that becomes your inspiration um and as person i would say that i told my mother was there as an inspiration right and my mentor he's been a company i would if i if there was a place where he would even say that okay i appreciate what you have done so that is i think i have achieved something so he's a big inspiration in my life wonderful now yeah. uh, i'd like to know more about uh, like your take on success uh, what do you think how success look likes to you I think success is uh, something which uh, anything in life which gives you happiness and satisfaction is success right. for you. So for me, uh, even small small things which I have achieved in my life is a success. Right, right. If I have had a, if I have had a, see, uh, okay, I did not mention this previously, but I have had a severe eye condition. Right. Where. Uh, yeah i have a condition where the eyesight is day by day going uh, it's like going off it's blurring away okay so but i but i still take it as a positive that i can see the world so that is my success mm-hmm. right and to see things positively for me is a success so that is happiness for me uh, when i see my work uh, the visions that i'm creating for the work that i have uh, to be able to achieve them the happiness that it will give me will be my success right right to be to be someone i think to be someone who is known and bringing insta krista hopefully to some good heights would be the definitely. current success for me definitely yeah. you would uh, achieve that so now moving on to the last question any message advice you would like to share with our viewers and listeners i believe uh, okay the advice that i would give is that believe in yourself and uh, always uh, listen to others what they are saying because number of times those who are around you and you should know they are your well wishers right so listen to them first of all the first thing you should know they are your well wishers that is the most important thing correct, then listen correct. to them and uh, learn from them and then take your decisions because correct. number of times what i find is that when we are achieving success uh we we get so much involved in it that we forget mm-hmm. that uh, there's always a fall down also correct and the people around you are always there to you know somewhere uh, hold you and catch you for that so mm-hmm. keep them along yes. so that is my advice that be observant and uh, another thing that I would I would like to say is that if you have uh, something that you want to do anything especially for women that if they want to achieve something don't let anything stop you from doing it correct correct so both these both things should go hand in hand that take the people around you that are there and along with that achieve whatever you feel is important for you definitely this is really that important. is what i have that is what i have also you know uh, mm. with the philosophy that i have followed in life so that is the advice that i would like to give like this is really important for uh, not only for uh, like men but for women too uh, they should follow their dreams they should do whatever they want to do in their life 
yeah, and yeah, be yeah. be positive also always so that that's the most important very true because in independence you should not forget that uh, you know that uh, there are people around who are affected by you so take them along take everybody right. along with you so definitely. i feel that is also important yeah definitely this is really wonderful so i must say we uh, had a wonderful discussion today amazing insights you have shared about uh, the kind of product you are into the business you are into as well as the experiences you have shared from life uh, your life uh, maybe per- personal and professional both were also really uh, wonderful so uh, it was uh, really amazing to hear from you so long uh, and i am uh, looking forward to hear you again soon to know more about uh, the kind of growth you are making how you are uh, like running your business as an entrepreneur what all the challenges you are facing maybe these are few of the things which uh, i would like to know more again soon so uh, looking forward to it thank you so much pooja ji for your time it was really wonderful thank you so much and it's i will also, also yeah sure and i will also share your social media and uh, website so that people can be in touch with you uh, see your products buy them from there and uh, guys don't forget to check that out too thank you so much everyone for watching and listening i hope you all must have gathered a lot of uh, information and enjoyed watching don't forget to like share and subscribe have a good time thank you and bye bye